Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with The Good and the Beautiful, and I am really excited to share today's video with you guys. It's going to be a video um, that answers the age-old homeschooling question about Open and Go curriculum. How Open and Go is The Good and the Beautiful? And I am going to be showing you guys everything that we have from the good and the beautiful that we are going to be using for our upcoming homeschooling year. And I'm going to be showing you just how awesome it is to be able to use an open and go curriculum because there's very minimal um, preparation that needs to be done. It is beautifully laid out and wonderfully filled with all kinds of good rich content ready for you to teach your children. And I for one as a homeschooling mom of four am very grateful for an open open and go curriculum. So I'm going to be sharing that with you. So we're going to go all around my house where I have all of my uh, curriculum waiting for me to get it organized and together for the upcoming homeschool year. And I'm going to show you guys. So if you're new to homeschooling, you may have never heard the term open and go. Um, open and go curriculum is um, is generally meaning, like I said, that there is not a lot of prep work that needs to be done in order to use the curriculum. So it's basically you can open it and you can go. You can start the lesson. There's not a ton of um, of work on your part as the parent and the teacher that needs to be done. Um, and if you're homeschooling multiple kids or if you've got a busy life, like I think 98% of us do, um, open and go curriculum is really wonderful. It's also very user friendly oftentimes and um, it's great if you know you get sick and someone else needs to jump in or you've got older kids sometimes they can um, you know figure things out on their own if they needed to so there's a lot of benefits to using a curriculum that is kind of open and go but I wanted to show you guys exactly what that means um, certain uh, groups within the homeschooling world kind of view that as like um, I don't know <laughs> Uh, like kind of less than if you use an open and go curriculum because you're not you know cultivating everything from scratch and I say to that to each his own I really enjoy my own I really enjoy using a curriculum that doesn't require a ton of preparation that doesn't mean absolutely zero but um, you're gonna see that today so I'm gonna show you everything we have and I'm gonna show you just how open and go it is can we literally open it and start working? Um, and so I'm gonna be taking you guys along for that. So I hope you enjoy this video. Um, I thought it would be helpful to kind of see, and it's one that I haven't seen really any other um, The Good and the Beautiful users create a video like this. So. Uh, I was like, oh, an original idea. That's kind of hard to come by these days. So give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Um, but let's head into my homeschool room so I can show you all the things. So I wanted to start off this video um, showing you guys uh, what I believe to be the the pieces of curriculum from the good and the beautiful that require the most preparation, which are the science units. All of the science units come um, just plastic wrapped um, so you can do what you want with them um, I've spiral bound them I've three hole punched them I've kind of done it all but I do think that the science units are the things that require the most preparation because they come like this number one so you do need to go through and um, you do need to cut out um, some some different things. If you're doing the lesson extensions, you probably need to print things. Um, here, the supply list, they always tell you what you're gonna need, so I like to go through and make a master list of things I have and then the things that I need to buy before I start my unit so that I have everything on hand. Um, you do need to cut these vocabulary words out, so um, that's something you do ahead of time. And then if you're teaching the, the unit to multiple students, you are probably going to need to make some, there's a lot of vocabulary words, um, you're probably going to need to make some photocopies. And you also might need to prepare um, any um, mini books. So um, that is like this, for example. If you wanted each of your kids to have one of these, you would make a photocopy of that. 
So I believe that the science units are the um, subject with the good and the beautiful that does require the most preparation. However, it's still very minimal. It takes, you know, maybe an hour total to get completely prepared for a science unit. Um, so I wanted to show you guys that first. This is going to be our very first science unit of the upcoming school year, and I actually am preparing it in another video. So stay tuned and watch that if you want to see what we're doing with all of this. Um, but this is what a science unit looks like. That gives you a general idea of what you need to do to prepare to start a science unit from the good and the beautiful with your kids. So now we're gonna move on to the next Here subject. We have typing three, I believe this is typing three, from the good and the beautiful. Um, let me double check that. Yes, it is typing three. Um, and this is definitely a piece of open and go curriculum. It requires zero preparation. You literally turn to the lesson and type it. Um, there are these helpful diagrams on there to show your kids exactly what they need to do. Um, and it's very self-explanatory. This is an independent piece once they're kind of familiar with the home keys and all of that good stuff, which by the time they are doing typing three, those concepts should be um, cemented in from typing one and typing two. So this is the last level that we have and it is completely ready to go, ready to be used with no prep work necessary. So the next thing that I have to show you guys as far as um, curriculum goes, just to show you um, how open and go the good and the beautiful is, is language arts. Um, we have use pretty much every level that they have and we absolutely love and adore it and I think it is extremely extremely user friendly and definitely open and go so um, let's just turn to the first lesson so you guys can see um, that we have everything ready to go you literally open to the page and it tells you exactly what to do. There's nothing needed from you to do ahead of time. It includes all of the books and everything that you need. Um, so all you'd have to have is obviously a pencil and some paper and you could begin literally the same day you receive it. There's nothing extra that you need to, to do. So um, language arts is completely open and go and it's wonderful and we love it so much. The next piece of curriculum that I am going to show you guys is their handwriting level. Um, we've done all of the handwriting levels um, and of course handwriting is generally a piece of open and go curriculum regardless of the creator. Um, the company, the curriculum company, but just wanted to show you guys. Um, so this would be the very first lesson and no prep work required. Literally open it and start practicing your handwriting. Okay, so the next piece of curriculum that we are gonna be using from the good and the beautiful is history year three. We've used all of the previous um, years of history and we really enjoy it. Um, there is a little bit of prep work needed for the history and so I quickly wanted to show you guys just how open and go the history curriculum is. So the big book of history stories contains lots of beautiful images and stories. There is no prep work involved with that book. Um, that serves as like a, a, a portion of this. Um, now for history, for the lessons themselves, um, let's see, uh, there it'll tell you right on here if you need any extra items. Sometimes you do and sometimes you don't um, and sometimes you will need to um, cut you know cut something out and play a matching game like here um, it shows you an optional activity um, but there really isn't much preparation work that needs to be done ahead of time um, with the exception of printing out the student explorer worksheets I have a page covering um, the password for that because they are downloadable once you purchase them. But that is really the only uh, bit of, of, come on camera, 
of uh, preparation that you need to do is printing and copying those for however many students you're teaching this unit to. Um, so, you know, again, that takes maybe 30, 40 minutes at the beginning of a school year and then you're prepared for the whole year. Um, you can, of course, decide how you like to have those in a folder or in a binder. Um, and really, that's all the preparation that's required. Um, here's like what I was talking about. Sometimes you do need to cut things out, but I just briefly scan over the lesson the night before and, um, and then I'll just cut those things out as I go. So I don't even do that at, at the beginning of the school year. I do it um, when I look over my lesson before I teach it to my kids. So I definitely think that this history curriculum is very open and go with minimal preparation required. Um, it's very, very, very user friendly and um, it gets the job done and I love it very much. So I wanted to show you guys just, you know, how much prep work is required for so history. that is going to be it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing the different pieces of curriculum from The Good and the Beautiful that we are going to be using that um, just show you just how easy it is to use this curriculum. Um, a lot of time there's a huge learning curve when you're switching curriculums and it can be really difficult and frustrating to try to figure out how to use um, a curriculum. I have been there before, but the good and the beautiful is really wonderful in that regard. You can mostly just open it up and start teaching your kids, which I find to be such a blessing for my family. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.